lot of it is a concept more than, say, an actual, like, you can say waltzes and one, two, three step dance, you know? And I don't think that, uh, that liquid is like that. Liquid is, um, it's more of a concept. It's, it's more abstract than, than most dances, which is why it's hard for a lot of people to pick it up. Um, as far as, like, to actually do something with it and not just repeat what other people are doing. Uh, and uh, I think it's totally unique in that it, uh, most dances start from the bottom and work their way up, and liquid starts from the top and works its way down to me, so that's kind of, kind of different. And uh, it, 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 to me, of the dances, is more like jazz, uh, whereas like, you know, uh, popping and, and all of that is so on 4-4 four, four beat, and I feel like you don't have to be on 4-4 four, four with, with liquid. I mean, you, can, you definitely need to accent the beat, but it doesn't need to be as accented. You can accent so many other things in the music, which you can do in popping and rocking, but it's, it's just a, a different way of accenting it. And so uh, I think that it puts a different feel to it. And it's, it, it's, it's like uh, popping and locking is more percussive, and uh, liquid is more like expressive, like a saxophone would be to jazz, or a trumpet would be to jazz, whereas a bass or, or the percussion or the drums is going to be more focused on the beat and more mathematical. The horn or the, you know, the singer or whatever can kind of go off a little bit. As, and to me, that's what liquid has, a little bit more room to go off in a way. Uh, yes, on the other hand, it, uh, totally to me, it's something that I've never seen any other dances of that use just the hands. You know what I mean? There's other dances that use hands. They use, uh, they, you know, there's different Balinese dances and different Indian dances and stuff. <clears throat> Even ballet uses hands. But nobody I've ever seen has a dance that's just hands. And uh, that's, that's totally unique to me. And, uh, something that, that I've never really seen before, and there's a lot of things that you can express with the hands, but I've never seen someone express music in the way that you can with digits. And un again, it's a totally original dance. It came up uh, same same time period that I uh, saw Liquid, I saw Digits. Um, fewer people were doing it properly than, uh, than with Liquid. And uh, uh, unfortunately, I think it's going to be one of those things that's, that, that it's only a, a few people are capable of doing, like, I, I, like doing well. Not, it's, it's not, to me, not a dance that everybody can do. Uh, I think that it, it just, certain people can pick it up really, not, not quickly, but can get the concepts pretty quickly and build on that, and some people it's just, whoosh, to me. Uh, which, which makes it, in its own, it, it kind of makes it, Elite, I don't want to say elite dist, it's just elite. Me and dance. Well, it started in kindergarten when I invented liquid. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's a, like, dance, I've always loved dance. I like to express music. I'm very kinesthetic, so I like to express things with my body, and I really like music, so music is one of the things I express with my body. So, uh... As far as uh, liquid and dance, um, that was just, it was what we were doing at the time and I had never seen anything like it. And I wanted to participate in aspects of the culture at the time. I was like into the culture very deeply. So I wanted to participate in every single part. And being an American, I think a lot of us don't have a real culture of our own. So a lot of times we want to partake in that kind of culture when it comes on like our youth culture. And to me, that was uh, like a huge influence at the time, and I really want to partake, partake in every bit of it. And so I wanted to take in the dance. And to me, you know, as far as culture goes, there's there's the music and the dance. And if you don't have a music and a dance, then I don't know if you're if you're a real culture. You know what I mean? Uh, to me, like the, it seems like real r real cultures, like real uh, like whether it be tribal cultures or societies. They, they tend to have a dance that goes along with them. And it seems like if you don't have a dance that goes along with it, it's not a real thing, not a real movement to me. I started, uh, well, I started going to raves uh, probably in the early, early 90s uh, when I was still in high school. And uh, whatchamacallit, um, what's going on? At, on Thursday, every Thursday night, we'd... Uh, there was a party that would go on, and or it was like every other Thursday or once every Thursday. But I would go right from there to school, to high school, 
uh, like junior and senior year. And uh, so it was somewhere around there is when I saw it. I didn't really pick up on it other than just try to mimic what people were doing. A lot more people were doing stuff with glow sticks at the time. And uh, you were seeing liquid, but it was uh, a lot more people had glowing balls and glowing gloves and all kinds of like crazy stuff, you know. So it was, you'd see like so many different styles and it was hard to even classify. It was just like this thing that everybody was kind of getting, you know what I mean? That, but it wasn't like, a, it, it wasn't as universal a, as it was apparently in like New, New York and New Jersey um, as it, at the time. Then in probably like mid 90s, like say 94, 95, 96 is when I really started to see it, like really, really heavy, uh, people were doing it and like blowing your mind with it, you know, and well, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, I was hearing different different names for it, you know, I was hearing liquid and then some people were saying it was called metamorphosis, which I've never heard any other people repeat, it was like a brief term and I don't know if somebody had just made it up, but it was a term I heard for a little bit. Um, but, uh, and a lot of what I was seeing in D.C. and in Baltimore was different in what you would see in New York and Jersey, apparently. What I was seeing in, in Baltimore was not closed handed, which is like what you, what you see in, a, you know, like LPC and, and do a lot of closed handed. What I was seeing was a lot of open handed, and it was, it was more like uh, to the side, this kind of thing, you know. It was uh, very dimensional, almost like a Lucas's and uh, Elliot's, um, uh, what is that? Yeah, Folds. Folds. Yeah, it's, uh, exactly. It's, it's very, it was very similar to the folding, uh, open-handed though, like that kind of thing. And uh, it was done with glow sticks. Sometimes people would put glow sticks in their hands and then do it with glow sticks. Um, and, then it, and then it just seemed to evolve like almost uh, catastrophically out of nowhere. It seemed like everybody was not everybody, but it seemed to start to develop like certain movements that were universal to it. And the uh, first person that taught me was this kid, Key. He was this Korean kid who lived and had his family in Jersey um, and was going to school in Maryland and uh, College Park. And uh, I was going to raise with him in D.C. and parties with him in D.C. and he was teaching me how to do it. Uh, a lot of it was, like I said, it was like this kind of, this kind of thing almost. Uh, and then a lot of playing with, with balls. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Playing with orbs, globes, how about that? Uh, so, so it was a lot of this, this, this kind of thing, like movement to the side, movement up. Um, and a lot more this than I was seeing in the stuff that, that uh, like um, Eric and uh, Jared do. You, know, you don't see as many, as many builds and uh, what they were doing. I was seeing a lot more builds than what people were doing, where it was more like, uh, and it might be because the music that was really big in Baltimore at the time was the German bass was coming out really heavy. I was seeing a lot of builds. Uh, and before that, I was doing a lot of house dancing before I got to look at. And uh, frankly, I'm too lazy for house dance. <laughs> um, but uh, other than that, yeah, that's, that's who I originally learned from. Then I uh, started to get really into live music, kind of took a break from the party scene for a little bit, got back into it, came back, and like it was all of a sudden, like, if the leap an evolution that had happened before was a lot, uh, this time it was like quadrupled, everybody was doing, or not everybody, but the, the few that were doing it correctly were doing very universal movements and like ones that, that they were starting to classify and name. And I ran into Lucas and Little, Little Phil uh, Frequency and uh, they started to show me the more LPC style and I kind of just went back to basics and did what they were showing me and then I went from there and kind of built on, built on that and then took what I had learned and then took other influences, whether it be martial arts or uh, whatnot, and built on it from there.